Also tonight, it was known as a safe haven for the LGBT community. It's a place where everyone is free to express themselves and be themselves. But that feeling shattered when a gunman entered the nightclub and opened fire. It was so scary. I heard shots, broken glass, body. And we still don't know why. Club Q, unanswered questions. Here's what we do know. The shooting at a gay nightclub in Colorado Springs only lasted minutes, but it was deadly. Five people were killed and 25 more injured. Police say two brave club patrons are heroes after they took action and stopped the shooter's violent rampage from possibly turning even more tragic. Isabel Rosales has the latest. Love over hate. A sign expressing that message now sits amongst a growing memorial of flowers, mementos, and notes outside of Club Q in Colorado Springs. A night of letting loose turning to tragedy late Saturday after a deadly shooting has now rocked the city's tight knit LGBTQ community. It was so scary. I heard shots, broken glass, bodies. He was a home away from home. It's a place where everyone is free to express themselves and be themselves. It was always good energy. It was never bad energy. And it just sucks that we'll never be able to, like, have that ever again. President Biden responding to the attack in a statement referencing the 2016 massacre at Pulse nightclub in Orlando, saying, quote, while no motive in this attack is yet clear, we know that the LGBTQI plus community has been subjected to horrific hate violence in recent years. We saw it six years ago in Orlando when our nation suffered the deadliest attack affecting the LGBTQI plus community in American history. The FBI is now assisting local authorities who are investigating the shooting as a possible hate crime. We don't yet know the motivation for this particular attack, uh, but there is no, no good motivation, right? I mean, this is an act of evil, a horrific act, uh, whether they were targeted uh, for because it was an LGBTQ a gathering place or whether it was targeted for other personal reasons. Uh, we simply don't know that at this hour. In Colorado Springs, I'm Isabel Rosales. The Archbishop of Denver is praying for the victims and their families. He has a request for everyone else, though, that the faithful in return pray for peace, healing and forgiveness. He issued a statement that said in part, quote, while the motives remain unclear, what is clear is that evil incidents like this have become far too common in our society. The random acts of killing innocent human beings must be condemned by a civil society. As we seek to overcome evil with good, we must promote the dignity of every human being created in the image and likeness of God. Another advocate for the LGBTQ outreach in the church is Father James Martin. He met with the Pope Francis twice now to discuss his pastoral ministry to gay Catholics. He says the evil of homophobia has to end and the feast of Christ the King is a good place to start. Churches and other religious institutions are called to stand on the side of all who are in any way persecuted, including LGBTQ people. Today, the Catholic Church marks the solemnity of Christ, the King of the universe, when our gospel reading tells the story of how Jesus was brutally executed on a cross and while being executed was jeered at by the crowds. Here we see a God who comes to be with all people, but especially those who are marginalized, those who are mocked, and those who are the victims of any kind of violence. Christ stands firmly in the center of Club Q united with all his brothers and sisters and siblings. The suspect remains in the hospital. In 2021, he was arrested in connection with a bomb threat that led to a standoff with police in his mother's home. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.